Tonight, we're we, we thankful unto God. We're giving thanks unto the creator of the universe for blessing us with this day. And it may sound strange to say blessing us with this day because indeed, we're all aching in our hearts because we have lost a sister, a daughter, a cousin, a friend. Indeed, it is a day of mourning the loss of a loved one. But as we've all agreed already, we're also celebrating the life, the life of a divine spirit. And I think we all who are gathered here this evening understand that this is a pathway which is part of a greater master plan. And you know, we mustn't lose that consciousness that spiritual consciousness, because there's more to life than this transition that we're making through this particular phase. And that is a, you see, when we celebrate the life of Sister Pat, one of the most important things we must remember is that she was a woman of faith and that she never lost her faith. I want to give honor to the woman who gave birth to Sister Pat. I would say that she's probably the woman who is aching the most at the moment. None of us would challenge her for that position, nor should we want to. But it must be the most painful thing in life to have to bury your own child. However, I know in her heart she will be rejoicing because as a woman of faith, she will be proud of the way her daughter led her life. And I'm going to ask us all to rise to our feet and turn to the matriarch of this family and give her our honor and our praise. Thank you. Thank you for our honor and our praise. Come on, give us some nice and come on. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. I just want to say two quick things. I want to say just two quick things. Um, one is that I have a special relationship with this family, whom I've known for 30 odd years. And this relationship this liaison is centered around is steeped in love and life the love and life of three human beings and you heard brother fitzroy introduced me just now as the father of the young man who just spoke and his older brother who is also here uh, is also the the sons are also the sons of sister pat sister sonia and this bond is a very special one because these, th these two people and my younger son also has a daughter. So I want to say, brothers and sisters, on behalf of my family, that we are here today not only to offer our condolence to the Andrew family, indeed that's what we're here for, but also to say to you that we share in this loss. We share in the pain and we share in the dignity and the celebration of a life well lived. And finally, brothers and sisters, being someone steeped in African tradition, I am also celebrating the great traditions of our ancestors. You know, we stood up at the graveside today and sometimes these days we don't see to quite know what to do. 10 years ago, we knew what to do. 20 years ago, we certainly knew what to do. 30 years ago, we didn't well know what to do. And someone said to me today, thank you very much. In fact, several people for the singing. Um, we kind of lost our culture a little bit. Is that right to say? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? And when you lose your culture, you lose your soul. Is that right? Yeah. And so I'm going to say to us all, my sister, you, you spoke to me earlier on. And you promised me that you will take that wherever you go. You'll call some of those sankeys, some of those songs. 
Yes, yeah, one of those chants. All right? And I want to encourage us to be proud of our culture and to represent that culture wherever we go. And when we go to a brave side, not to be ashamed or afraid to do what we used to 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Hope we more than better from a belly button. All right, make it come out. And, and finally, brothers and sisters, finally, in our African tradition, when something has passed on, we don't only mourn the loss or even just celebrate the life. We look at the lessons to be learned from the person's life. And I'm thankful that in the eulogy we heard today, and also the testimonies and tributes from members of Sister Pat's faith family, that there are so many lessons to be learned from Sister Pat. So we are thankful that we were part of her life and we were part of the lessons that were taught in a beautiful, beautiful ceremony to send her home. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. <laughs>